I'm Clyde Moss. I'm the program director for the Respiratory Care Program here at Oklahoma City Community College and Francis Tuttle Technology Center. This is an associate in applied science degree program that is uh, fully accredited by the Committee on Accreditation for Respiratory Care Programs. How this program works, it's a little different than other programs, but how this program works is you come to Oklahoma City Community College, complete your general education requirements. Uh, a couple of those near the end are courses called Introduction to Respiratory Care and Cardiopulmonary Anatomy and Physiology. Usually by the time students are taking those classes, they're almost ready, if not ready, to apply to the program. So at that point, you'll have me in class uh, and we'll let you know when to apply, make sure you meet the deadlines, uh, and when you're ready to apply. Uh, the, once you get accepted into the respiratory care program, it is a full-time program. We have two acceptance dates. One's in January, so if you get accepted into the January program, then you graduate in December. If you get accepted into the June program, then you graduate the following May. So uh, that last year is a full-time going to class, going to clinical, and I'm talking full time as in 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day, except clinical, and clinical days are typically 6.30 to 3 or 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. because some clinical days are uh, 12 hours. So once you get that far into the program, uh, it, it is full time. And so you need to have, to be ready to go to the program full time, you need to have everything situated so that you can do that i.e. your financial aid, uh, your support at home, uh, and so that you're ready to go because it's going to be very, very busy for a year. Once you progress into the program to a certain point, we, you begin to attend clinical uh, on a regular basis. We have a really wonderful clinical support here in the metro area. You will get to go to clinical at many different clinical facilities. For example, Integris Baptist, Integris Southwest, Integris Canadian Valley, and, and the Integris Con uh, Deaconess, OU Medical Center, Presbyterian Children's Hospital, St. Anthony, Norman Regional, Norman Healthplex, um, the Children's Center in Bethany. Uh, these clinical facilities have been uh, supporters of our program for many, many years and really welcome the respiratory care students to come in and learn. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's kind of a twofold thing. The students go to clinical, uh, they see how things are done there, how things work there at those various different clinical facilities, uh, and they see the students. And so uh, many times students uh, uh, decide where they want to become employed from their clinical rotations because they feel like this place was just the, the, the fit for me. Uh, so that works out really nicely for the student because you get multiple clinical practice experiences. We do floor therapies at all these clinical facilities. We do a lot of adult critical care, which is all the life support systems that you've probably heard about uh, on the news recently. <laughs> uh, we do pa pediatric intensive care rotations. We do, do neonatal intensive care rotations. We do, other than adult critical care, we do long-term critical care rotations as well. Uh, and for example, the Children's Center in Bethany is kind of a unique place where it's a long-term care facility for kids. So you don't get that very often. You don't get that opportunity very often. So we have a very uh, a diverse and well-rounded clinical practice experience set up for you. The degree plan for the respiratory care program is, of course, posted on the Oklahoma City Community College website, uh, as well as the Francis Tuttle Technology Center website. The career advisors here at Oklahoma City Community College are wonderful at helping you figuring out a, a plan from beginning to end. Uh, once you, you know, get accepted into the program and you uh, earn your associate in applied science degree, graduation of course occurs, yay. Uh, then you, we uh, have things set up so that you can go and take your credentialing exams and earn your registered respiratory therapist credential from the National Board for Respiratory Care. And uh, we will assist you in uh, the process of getting a license to practice respiratory care 
in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, you have to have both of those things so that then you can become employed. Uh, the average salary in the metro area starts out at 21 up to $26 per hour. So it's a pretty good starting wage for an associate degree program. Uh, the end result there is, you know, if you work full time for a year, you can make right out of school somewhere in the $50,000 range, which is awesome for an associate degree program. Um, many uh, advanced programs can't offer that for you. Um, this is a wonderful program. We have earned the RRT Credentialing Success Award. So coming to our program, uh, uh, we prepare you really well to take those board exams, pass those exams. Our pass rate uh, is always, or for many years now, has been in the high 90% range for first time test takers pass rate. Uh, on occasion, we have a student that needs to take a test a second time, but by far 90 something percent, 94% was 2019, was our first time pass rate. So we're really proud of that. Uh, I guess not all schools can say that by any chance, by any stretch. So um, coming to the Oklahoma City Community College, Francis Tuttle Respiratory Care Program is the one you want to come to. <laughs> Give me a call if you have any questions. Email me if you have any questions. Uh, my email address at Oklahoma City Community College is clyde.w.moss at occ.edu or clyde.moss at francistuttle.edu. Either way, I check email real regularly and uh, I will return your email and, and, and or answer your questions as, as quickly as I can. Thank you very much.